Good morning, everybody. Thank God for another Friday. All right. Uh, so um, just happy to, uh, again, have the opportunity to share God's word with all of you and uh, hope all of you are doing well. You are staying safe. You are protecting yourself, following the guidelines that is set before you by the expert and, uh, and uh, you know, just uh, keep your eyes on the Lord because, uh, you know, he has the final say in all of this, no matter how bad it look, but we could always trust him. Amen. Uh, in our social distancing meditation today, we will uh, share one verse with you. And this verse is in Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And uh, it reads as follows. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Do it all as unto the Lord. Now, this is one of my favorite verse in the whole Bible. I, I know some of you probably saying that I have said this before. Yes, yes, I have many favorites in the Bible. Uh, I hope it's not a crime that I do. Um, this is one of those verses that you want to commit to memory. And if you haven't done so already, I'll, I would implore you to go ahead and do it. And our reading this morning is taking in a in a place where we don't often go. We usually go about our day and not think one single solitary thought about the Lord Jesus Christ, about God. And, and I believe that's why we are being reminded this morning that we need to do it all as unto the Lord. See, our verse this morning tell us whatever you do in word or deed you see the bible give us general principles on how a spirit-led christian should live their lives the bible give us general guidelines of what's right or what's wrong in our everyday walk our, our verse is letting us know this morning that in everything that we do everywhere that we go whatever that we speak whatever that we think whatever that we enjoy we must ask ourselves the following question can all these th things be done to god's glory can we do it in the name of jesus christ can we can we ask god's blessing Blessing on the activity that we are taking place in? Can we do it while we are giving thanks to God in the midst of it? Can we sincerely say that in all that we do, we, Christ will be pleased? See, while in the midst of our daily activities, are we finding ways to strengthen our brothers and sisters, even strangers that we encounter in, in all that we are doing? We should not be a stumbling block to anyone that we encounter. Let our words and our deeds be our bond because everything that we say and everything that we do, we have the Lord Jesus Christ in mind. When we have him in mind, we do everything the way that he would do things. We would treat others the way that he would treat others. We would love the way that he loved. He loved without, without uh, prejudice, without exception. He loved everyone. We would, we would go about our business thinking about you know, what would Jesus do in my situation? We will not do anything that would weaken or our, our desire to for intimate fellowship or relationship with the Lord. Another word, we need to keep Jesus Christ in mind before we make any decision, before we act, before we go anywhere. We need to be able to answer this question while will will Jesus be pleased in this decision, in this action, in this location that I find myself in? Brothers and sisters, you know, when you do something in the name of someone else, it means that you are doing it in the authority of the person that you are doing it in behalf of. 
So doing everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is like having Jesus Christ signing at the end of everything that you are doing. What a great privilege that, that we have to be able to be Jesus Christ representative in this world. What an awesome privilege that we have to be able to have Jesus Christ approval in all of our actions. I, I don't know about you, I, at the end of the day, if Jesus would place us his signature in every action, in everything that I did, every decision that I made in every reaction throughout my day, I, I can't begin to tell you how how pleased and how happy I would be to 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 see that that I made Jesus Christ happy. I, I, I made the Holy Spirit inhabit my body and stay there without having a thought of, of leaving because, because of, of some sin or because of something that I've done that, that, that is contrary to the Word of God. As Christian, we have to make every decision with Jesus Christ in mind. Whatever you do, that means your entire life is to be related to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Everything in life, every activity can become an act of worship. Every routine things that we do can be offered to Christ, done in the name of the Lord, motivated by our relationship to him. Ruth Graham had for years a sign over, over her kitchen sink that, that said the following, divine services held here three times a day. Even washing dishes can be an act of worship if you do it in the name of the Lord as unto him. What a difference of motivation this make to a Christian, to a Christian today. You, you do things you do not like because you offer them willingly to the Lord as a sweet sacrifice to him. If you love someone, you will do things for him or her sake that you do not particularly like doing. That is the point here. For example, because my wife loves me, um, I would be sitting watching the game. She would come and sit with me and, and watch the game, not because that's her favorite thing to watch, but just because she loved me, she would wanna she would wanna sit next to me and spend time with me during that time. And the same thing, I would do it. I would watch something that she, I don't particularly like, but because I know she likes it, I would sit down and watch it with her. I know that that I know that you know when we love we give we give of ourselves we give of our time we give of everything that we have when we when we love and if we are claiming to love the Lord Jesus Christ then we need to do things as unto him and when we do that that's that's when that's when people will see more of him in us more him, more of him through us and there there are things that money could never pay us to do but love will motivate us to do, to do them if we love the lord we offer him the activities of our day we do everything with the with the view of his glory and, and, and we feel even even filling out our our income tax we will be careful not to go overboard or, or try to push the envelope because we know that jesus is watching when we go to the grocery store or wherever we do, whatever that we do, wherever we go, we make sure that we are pleasing to the Lord. What a glorious picture this give of an, of an entire life under the Lordship of Jesus Christ. See, the Apostle Paul want to remind us today, we need to do it all as unto the Lord. If you want to live a life that, that is filled with God's grace, we need to be mindful of who we are thinking about in the midst of every decision that we make and everything that we say. Amen. 
Let's pray. Father, we just thank you today. Thank you for another day. Thank you for your word, oh God. We pray your blessing, oh God, over each and every person that hears it, oh God. Let it, oh God, go into our hearts, oh God. Let it, oh God, convict, convince us, convict us, and oh God, let it, oh God, help us, oh God, to, to oh God, be better, oh God, uh, as Christian. Let help us to walk the, the walk the talk, oh God, and, and, and talk the walk, Lord God. Father, we, we just Thank you today, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for your many blessings toward us. Thank you for your word, Lord, we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching this short sermon, and, and I pray that it was a blessing to you. And if it is, please share it with somebody. God bless you. Have a great day. Have a safe and wonderful day under God's protection. I love you all with the love of the Lord.